Hey guys, great to see you today. Professor Gooden back with another at-home workout. So today we're focusing on the back and the biceps, all right, our pulling muscles, and specifically we'll focus on horizontal pulling for today. Now for this workout, I will be using resistance bands. You'll see that I have a few different colors that I'm using in this workout. You don't need all of these different resistances. It is nice to be able to have variable resistance, but because we're doing these exercises for a full minute at a time, uh, our goal today is just to get as many reps as we can in that minute. So if you have a lighter band, you'll be doing more reps. Now we've got four awesome movements and they're alternating between bilateral and unilateral, meaning that we'll use two arms as well as just one arm at a time today, all right? And now these four movements, we are going to sequence them with no rest in between so that we really get a great burnout effect and we fully fatigue all of our muscle fibers um, with each round, okay? So four movements. The first one is what we call an archer row. The second one is a bent over band row. The third one is a one arm band row. And the fourth one is a band pull apart, okay? I'm gonna show you all four of those in a second, but first, let's go ahead and warm up. So we've got three movements to warm up with. The first is good old shoulder circles, which I'm sure all of you did in PE at some point growing up. The second one is band pull aparts, similar to the movement we'll do in the workout, or actually exactly the same, <laughs> but with a lighter band. And the third movement we'll use to warm up are some bicep curls, just to get some blood flowing to the biceps and get our elbows warmed up, okay? So three warm up movements, I'll do them now. Follow along with me at home. All right, a nice short and sweet warm up. We've got the upper back muscles warm, we got the bicep warmed up, got blood flowing to that musculature, and we got the shoulders loosened up with those shoulder rolls. So let's get into the workout. First, I'll demo each of these movements, and then we'll go with our one minute sets where we go one movement to the next, to the next, to the next with no rest. So today, I'm going to attempt to get two rounds. So it's gonna be really short, two rounds of four minutes each one minute per exercise. So we'll do each exercise twice. Now the goal here is after a short rest in between those two rounds, the goal is to try to match the number of reps you did in the second round to the first round, all right? That will be pretty tough, but we'll try to do it today. So here are the four movements. The first one is an archer row with this band and you're going to hold it out like you're holding a bow and arrow and you're gonna pull the band back, check it out. Now notice I had to cinch up on the band. You can uh, hold it further back or higher up depending on the resistance of your band and what you need to be challenged by. 
Okay, the second movement is a bent over band row. So I'm gonna step on the middle of the band, hinge at the hips, keep my lower back straight, and I'm gonna pull that band up to my chest. Check it out. The third movement is a one arm band row. So I'm actually gonna loop my band right here around this post and I'll get into a nice split stance position and pull that band to my chest one arm at a time. You'll notice some slight rotation into supination at the forearm as I'm pulling that band back. Make sure you bring your shoulder blade back as you pull. And finally, band pull-aparts. We already did this in the warm-up, but I'll show you again. Okay, on those, remember to bring those shoulder blades back and together as you're pulling that band back. You can go palms facing down or palms facing up or even palms facing straight ahead in neutral. Either is fine, they just, uh, it just tweaks which muscles are emphasized as you're doing that movement. Okay, so I'm gonna set my timer for one minute, repeating four times, and then I'll take a short rest and do round two. Set your own timers at home or follow along with mine. Hopefully the buzzer will be loud enough to come across in the video. And let's get as many reps as we can on each of these movements, all right?
right, round one is done. That was tough. You can probably tell on those band pull aparts, my upper back was toast, it was feeling it. So take a short break, two or three minutes, get a sip of water, I'm gonna do the same, and then we'll come back and hit it and try to get the same number of reps. I know that's gonna be super tough for me to do personally, but maybe you can do it. So we'll try to hit the same number of reps for those four movements, and then we'll be donezo, okay? Two minute break, starting now. All right, what's up guys? Got a drink of water, it's been about two minutes. Let's hit that second set hard. Four movements, one minute each, try to match the reps. All right, guys, that was tough. Good work. Oh, let me know how you did, if you could match it in the comments down below. Let me know also how hard this workout was for you, whether it was 
maybe too short, too long, or just right at that intensity. All right, guys, thanks for training back and biceps with me today. Next week, I'll be back with another video, this time training legs. So see you guys on the next video.